Alrighty, Hosses, so I'm sure that you find printing things out in the command line fascinating, but you're probably a little bit more interested in how to use your plugins. I mean, that's why we downloaded Grunt in the first place, isn't it? So, to use your plugins, what we're going to be doing is this we're going to be setting up each plugin individually and giving it whatever options we need to give it, and then we're going to be loading them in and then running them. So, three different steps. It's actually pretty easy once we break it up. So just to set up the core plugins, you let me add a comment be like uh configure uh like main project settings. Something like that, whatever. So in order to do that, call grunt init config and thanks to JavaScript you need like parentheses and semicolons and curly brackets everywhere, so let me get those out of the way. So before we even start loading in the plugins, we're just going to say, hey Grunt, look to this file, package.json, for all the basic information. Not only about our project, but in this file, it also has information about our plugins. What plugins we're using, what version they are, all the extra crap that, you know, we really don't worry about, Grunt needs to know. You know, just the basic information. So type, actually let me add a comment, I'll put like a basic settings and info about our plugins. All right, so in order to have Grunt read in this file, what we do is we write pkg grunt.file.readjson. And we just give the file path, and since we're in the same directory, package.json. So all this is gonna do is it's gonna hop over here and read in all of the basic information that it needs to work with our plugins. Simple enough. Now, in order to set up an individual plugin, and for this example, let me go ahead and I'll use uh, the CSS min. So, this is my little website right here. This is the home page, and I have two CSS files one is content, and one is sidebar. This is a really simple website, it just has a bunch of crap, like says welcome to the site in the main area, and then it has a little navigation menu. I don't know why, because <laughs> it doesn't need a navigation menu, because I only have one page, but it was the quickest example I could write up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the CSS min plugin, which is going to take all the CSS and minify it into one nice compact single CSS file. Now I'm going to use that file and I'm gonna call it main CSS so take these two files compact them and create a main CSS file that I can use for my actual website so that's what we need to do we need to set up the CSS min plugin so I'll just write name of plugin and I'll also write plug without the alright so whenever you're setting up a plugin, you see how the naming convention is grunt minus contrib minus something, grunt minus contrib minus something. Well, just take the name of that, such as CSS min or uglify, and that's the name of the actual plugin itself. So the one that I'm going to use is CSS min. And now what we need to do is we need to give it the options. In other words, the options that we need to pass in this plugin are what files are you trying to minimize? and for the final result the final file that I'm supposed to be creating the minified one what is the name of that now the exact naming convention is different for every plugin if you just go to the whenever you're looking at plugins they're gonna give you a bunch of demos and you're gonna see the naming convention and what information you need to pass into it but for this one I know that I'm gonna combine since I'm combining a couple files into one and inside here I need to give it the files. So the files that I'm going to be using is first, what's the final file going to be called? Well, it's in the HTML CSS directory, so HTML CSS, and name the final result once you're done with everything, main.css. Now it's saying, okay, this is the result. What files are you trying to compact and g combine? And we toss those in an array. So actually, let me just copy this because I'm lazy. So the first one is, what was it? Content. 
.css and the second one was sidebar .css so what this is going to do is we're configuring our plugin to take this CSS file which is this one and another one which is this one tighten them together and make main CSS so that's our configuration settings and we have two little lines of code that we have to do after this the first one is actually load the plugin so we're pretty much going to go into node.modules and load it so we can actually use that code so grunt dot load npm tasks and for this as you can see it's grunt minus contrib minus CSS min so this is the plugin that we're trying to load and this last line of code that we need I'll just write something like do the task so this was just all information about setting up our plugin last thing we need to tell grunt is hey um, actually can you like run this plugin so grunt register task and just say this is the default task so whenever we run grunt whenever we type grunt in the command line just do this by default and what do we want to do this right here which is CSS min so the reason I toss this into an array is because if we ever want to do more than one task then we can add it right here but right now I'm just making an array with one single task in it and that is minify the CSS files now I'm about to run this and check this out so right now in my CSS directory I only have two files right here however after I run it keep your eye on this and all you do is you open up and you type grunt and check it out one file created and now if I open this you see that we now have a main .css with a nice minified actually it isn't that nice it looks pretty ugly but it did its job so there you go that is how you actually set up and use a grunt plugin again whatever plugin information it needs whatever data it requires set it up right here in your init config and then load the plugin and then actually say hey grunt can you actually uh, do what we told you to so that's what this line of code is saying right there and if you ever want to use more than one plugin at the same time then let me clean all this up and actually we don't even need that anymore and what I can do is run that uglify and I'll show you the JavaScript file I have so this is my JavaScript file nothing really important in here I actually had to throw in a bunch of worthless <laughs> JavaScript just because I thought I didn't have enough but say that I wanted to minify this as well in other words uglify it which it's called you know I like how they keep changing up the names so all we have to do is this actually let me copy this comment to so give it the settings and for this one remember the name was uglify and you pretty much set it up the same way but the name of convention is a little bit different it's dist and files is the same and let me clean up this since we only have one file so my javascript file my original one was in js and what was it called toggle dot js now actually when people minify these files not only javascript but css they usually add a min um, keyword or I don't even know if it's called a keyword like a separate extension kind of so if your original one is toggle.js the minified one would be something like toggle.min.js and alright so this looks good to go we now configure two plugins the one to minify CSS and the one to uglify which essentially just is minify for JavaScript now in order to make that work we need to load the other plugin which is uglify and right in here we can also say do the uglify task as well so this right here is the task name and this is your task options so these are the options of the plugins the settings essentially we're loading both of those right there and then we're gonna say okay actually do those things that we just set up 
So now in my terminal, if I run grunt again, keep your eye on this directory now. Right now there is only this toggle.js file, and I'm going to run grunt, and it's going to go through and do the same thing with job, or excuse me, with CSS like we saw last time. It's also going to create a new toggle.min.js. So look at that. And right now you're probably thinking, all right, so it's probably just quicker to download separate tools and do this by hand, but trust me, whenever you have an actual website that has hundreds of CSS files, hundreds of JavaScript files, then it is incredibly easy and useful and time saving to set this gruntfile.js up one time and just type grunt anytime you want to build your entire website or project. So that's the core basics of how to use grunt. I hope you enjoyed it. See you guys later.